Hey guys, it's going to be a crazy day at Titanium Man Garage. I got a full day planned ahead of me. I plan on uh, doing something that uh, most of you would probably love to do. Uh, I'm going to knock out three four wheelers in one day. Um, I've been on vacation for the past two weeks, so I've been MIA. And uh, if I haven't answered any of your questions, just be patient. I'll get back to you. Uh, I actually got a pretty good tan out of the deal. So I got my full day planned ahead of me, and I'm going to show you what I got. So I built this one two days ago. I took a 425 uh, motor and turned it into a 500. Um, basically because I don't have any 500 motors left. So um, I got like four 425s laying around. I'm just converting them all. And this thing runs really good after I got her done. So the only thing I have to do is uh, replace the thumb uh, throttle switch because uh, whoever did this one put a wood screw up in here and the thing goes back and forth. So, uh, last night, I uh, built an engine. It took me about an hour, and I'll show you why. So while I was on vacation, I had my buddy pick up a bunch of four-wheelers for me. So here's my game plan. This one came uh, yesterday. The guy thought the tranny was blown. Um, I'm banking on the shift linkage is this bad and uh, the brake lever is missing or broken one of the two. So I'm going to knock that out in an hour and a half and then I'm going to pull this one in. I'm going to tear the motor out, put the new rebuild in and hopefully by 10 o'clock tonight I will be done. Now. I do have a family life, so I won't be in here all 12 hours. It is 10 a.m. right now. Um, I have to take my wife car shopping because uh, her timing chain jumped for the second time in a year. Yeah, don't ever buy it to reverse their junk. Um, so, yeah, sometime in the afternoon I'll be doing that. And uh, then I'll get back to it. I'm thinking sometime tonight uh, I'll finish that third one up. But I'm going to try to videotape all of this. And uh, so if you guys got any questions along the way, uh, feel free to drop a line. So this is going to get real tricky because uh, we're talking about a 12-hour period. So stay tuned and watch how crazy T-Man works today. Number one finished and it is 1048. I'm gonna pull this bad boy out. You can see how she runs. Looks like you turn on the gas. So the first thing you want to do after you disconnected the low gear, make sure you're in neutral. And there's like two little lines right there in there. Um, right now I'm in neutral and the transmission shifted almost into high. So that's telling me that this is, uh, whoever installed these didn't do it correctly. They look newer, so I'm guessing somebody replaced them at one time. And I'm thinking they never hooked this up right. So yeah, this will be a win-win for me because uh, it's not the transmission that's bad, it's the shift linkages. Somebody uh, installed them incorrectly. So I already got the nut off of this one. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. 
And then I'm gonna take a players and shift this into neutral and then readjust everything. All right, let me show you what I mean. So I took the players and I uh, move this to neutral. I also jack the tires off the ground so I can hear it's in neutral. And look where that's sitting. See the, where the hole is? Try to zoom in here. That is not lined up whatsoever. So somebody, uh, somebody really screwed this up. So I'm gonna have to uh, loosen this, bring that out. I am in neutral. And I'm gonna adjust that and that should cure my problem. So now I'm gonna bring in number three. Gonna get the new engine. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Plastics off, uh, got uh, the clutches off, and I'm in the middle of taking the flywheel off, and I'm gonna pull the uh, stator, and uh, then I've got the uh, exhaust and the, the motor mount bolts, and this bad boy is ready to pull. All right, it's about five o'clock. Worked on two and a half machines. Got this engine in and out in three hours. Uh, just gotta I'll hook up the flywheel, put some fuel and oil in it, and she'll be ready to fire up. Can you reach that one or you need the extension? Huh? You need the extension on that? What's the extension? Bare foot. So. <clears throat> okay, so after I install the engine, what I like to do last is uh, torque the head bolts down with it has something to hang on to. That way you're not uh, turning the engine while you're torquing it down. So the torque sequence is, uh, I believe, a seven-step seven uh, sequence. So the first step is I have to torque all four bolts down to 22 foot-pounds in a crisscross pattern. And the next step is to tighten it to 52 foot-pounds. Loosen each bolt 180 degrees, so it would be a half turn. So, what I like to do is take a marker and mark the top of the heads, draw a straight line on there. That way I know where the turn is. Alright, so I stopped at 5 o'clock. I restarted again at about 11 o'clock, so I got four hours uh, in and out with this machine. Um, two hours to take the engine out and uh, two hours to get her back into place. 
And I got everything all hooked up, ready to go. Let me show you how it runs. And the first try, too. Let's tweak the carb a little bit. Machine number two done. Woohoo! Just in case I forgot to say, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to the channel.